Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be testing out and reviewing two new products from Catrice. The first one is the Ultimate Camouflage Cream as well as their Grip and Last Putty Primer. Now the creams retail for six US dollars each and you can find them in eight different shades. I have four of the shades here with me so I am going to be swatching all of them for you guys. They also launched a brightening shade and a correcting shade which I did not realize when I placed my order, the correcting shade. So I only have the brightening shade, but you know, that's fine. It's fine. Now, as far as the details for the cream, they are described as being a high opacity, long lasting formula that is meant to conceal impurities and redness. So to me, the word impurities is very broad, right? So any kind of imperfections is kind of how I'm taking that. So whether it be dark circles, blemishes, spots, redness, that kind of thing. So it's supposed to take care of all of that and it is supposed to be long lasting, especially when you pair it with a setting powder based on what I've read so far. Now, as far as how to use these, you're supposed to just apply it directly onto the skin. You wait for it to dry down a little bit and then you work it into the skin in order to blend it out. It also states that we can use multiple layers so we can add coverage. It's also cruelty-free, vegan, paraben-free, alcohol-free, and perfume-free. Now, the primer retails for nine US dollars and it is a solid to cream formula. So as you're applying it and working it in, it is going to be very lightweight and blend out any kind of imperfections. So supposed to even out the skin and reduce the appearance of pores and of course it's going to help our makeup stay in place all day. So let's get into the swatches. So the first one up is almond which looks like that. Next we have light beige which I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be using. It's a little lighter than almond so looks like that. Next we have toffee which is a bit deeper than the last two. Looks like that. And last but not least, we have a Latte Macchiato. Looks like this. So those are the four shades that I have. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go with this one here, which was Toffee. So I'm gonna be working with Toffee for today's review. And the last one that I have is their Brightening shade. This is Brightening Peach. Looks like that. It reminds me the shade, not the texture whatsoever, but the shade definitely reminds me of the um, the Becca under eye brightening shade, the light to medium one. That's what this looks like. And that is why I'm not gonna be using it for color correcting today. I cannot believe that I didn't grab the correcting shade, but we're okay. For usual, I like to test these out both with and without a color corrector underneath them just to see what kind of coverage we are able to achieve with it by itself and with the help of a color corrector, which for me, I usually have to use a color corrector in order to completely conceal the under eye area, but this is supposed to be very high in coverage. The opacity is supposed to be very high, so we may not need it. We'll see. For corrector, I'll be using my CC under eye corrector. This one is in the shade medium tan. Looks like this. But before that, we are going to prime our face with this putty primer. Comes with a little applicator so that you are able to just scoop it out rather than constantly dipping your finger in there. I'm gonna start off by just doing half of my face with the primer and then I can zoom you guys in so that you can see the difference if there's even a difference, right? So I'm gonna start over here. Okay, yeah, a little bit of smoothing happening. Oh, okay, so after you put it on, initially it feels very creamy, very uh, like slick, if you will. Um, but now that I have some on, it absolutely feels like it's gonna grip. Let me zoom you guys in so that you can see the uh, before and the after. All right, so this is the before with the pores out, full display. <laughs> and this is the after. I think it did somewhat kind of smooth this area out, especially when you see them side by side. Yeah, I think it did. All right, the primer is on, we are ready to go. So let me jump off camera really quickly in order to apply some foundation. I'm also gonna be color correcting the right side before coming back and concealing with this camouflage cream. I'll be right back. All right, I am back, foundation is on. I've lost some color, but don't you worry. I'll bring it back with bronzer. The foundation's a little bit lighter than what I remember. I'm using the True Skin Foundation from Catrice, which I really like. Um, and the primer just didn't allow it to blend out the way that it normally does. 
it grips onto the foundation and I mean it grips onto the foundation. So like I'm having to really get in there to blend it. Oh my gosh, it grips onto my hair too. I'm having to really go in there and like blend it out and it's leaving behind a lot of unevenness. Like you could really see it here and you could kind of see it over here. Let me zoom you guys in so that you see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm hoping that this is close enough. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but right here, you just kind of see random spots where the foundation is definitely clinging on a lot heavier than in others. And like I said, I have a similar situation over here. Not as obvious, but I can definitely see it. So there's that, but it's okay. I've already committed to the primer. Let's see how it wears throughout the day. As far as how I'm going to apply the concealer under the eyes, I'm still not sure. I'm thinking I'm just gonna do my finger, let it dry down for a little bit, and then go in with a brush and try to blend it out. It doesn't really specify, the website doesn't say like what application method is best, whether it's your finger or a brush or a sponge or whatever, it doesn't say any of that. So I'm just gonna do it with my finger. So again, I'm going in with Toffee, which is an excellent neutralizing shade. Like, holy cow, I like this what it's doing as far as coverage. It looks good. The reason why I hate blending concealers out with my finger is because the inner corner is always the hardest to get. Um, it's impossible to get the inner corner, so I hate that. I look like I have a black eye. The foundation's a little too light. I, I let's, let's keep going. So far, I'm not really content with my makeup, honestly. So now let's do this side and see what coverage we can get without a corrector. All right, so there it is. Let's let it dry down for, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. It says seconds, but I don't know how many. So let's just, go, let's just shoot for 30 and then go in and blend it out. All right, I'd say it's been about 30 seconds. So I'm gonna go in and then just blend it out with my Real Techniques brush, I, I guess. <laughs> It doesn't really need a whole lot of blending out, if I'm being completely honest. This kind of already looks good on its own. All right, there's one side. Let's do the other side. All right, so of course, not as much coverage over here for obvious reasons, right? Um, so let's try to build it up just a little bit. Just gonna concentrate right here in this inner corner where it tends to be, um, you know, a bit darker than the other areas underneath the eye. So again, I'm gonna wait for it to set a little. All right, so it's been about 30 seconds. Let's blend it out. So the website did say that for the ultimate staying power, you should set this, which is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use my Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Just a little bit of that on my Soft Blend number 60 brush. Okay, yeah, it, it needs it. It's settling into my fine lines underneath the eyes. So I'm going to blend that away and then set. I'm going to do the same thing over on the left. All right, and there we go. All right, so here it is. This is the side that we color corrected, and this is the side that we did not color correct. All right, so you guys know the drill. Let me jump off camera, finish my makeup, and I will be right back. All right, I'm back, makeup is done, ready to continue on with the day. It is currently 11.47. We'll see how this wears. I did have to reset the under eye area while I was applying the rest of my makeup because the concealer did start to settle again into my fine lines. So I went ahead and I blended it out once more. I reset it or I set it more. Um, so hopefully that's done and uh, yeah, we'll see how it wears. So anyway, I'll be back halfway through the day in order to show you guys some close-ups, see what these products are doing and uh, yeah, under natural lighting. So I'll be back in a few hours for my midday check-in. All right, I'm back for a quick midday check-in. It is currently 4.33, so I've had this on for a good 
five hours, almost five hours, I think. Brace yourselves. I just got a good look in the mirror. So this is the under eye area. It's the, the cream is what I'm calling it, right? Because they're not calling it a concealer. So the cream is kind of, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty bad. <laughs> It's looking really bad underneath the eyes. It's completely separated. It is definitely lessening and as far as coverage. I think I've lost some coverage. Um, and yeah, just overall, not a good time underneath the eyes. As far as the primer, it has made this foundation look so bad. So, so bad. And I thought maybe, maybe, just maybe, it might look better as the day went on, right? Maybe you like started to settle and everything started to kind of melt into my skin. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It has made this foundation kind of cling onto areas that I've never experienced before. Like right here, you can really see it right there, right here as well, all along the nose. Like the nose is the most it's the one that has the most evidence <laughs> as far as how bad this is wearing. Um, it's also really accentuating my smile lines. Look at this. It's accentuating everything. It just, it does not look good at all. I'm kind of, I'm like kind of tempted to just pull the plug on this and just call it a day because let's be honest, it's not going to wear any better, right? It's not going to look any better at all, but we're gonna finish the day. I'm gonna try to make this a bit wearable by blending it out a little bit. Um, this is a brush I used this morning in order to blend out the concealer. I haven't added anything to it. I'm just gonna be blending this um, away. It's giving me fine lines that I don't have yet, you know, um, and that's not cool. So that made it look, uh, 10 times better, loss coverage, but at least it doesn't look, you know, like it's all over the place. Let's get rid of this a little bit. Let's try to blend this out. The foundation is settled in there and this foundation I, I usually don't have a, like a tough time with, which is why I've kept it. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely the primer that's making this look pretty bad. So that's my check-in. I'm gonna continue to wear it for about another three hours, right? I'm gonna finish the day. Um, we'll see. We'll see what this continues to do or doesn't continue to do. As of right now though, I'm pretty ready to wash it off, but I'm gonna continue to push through and then let's just see what we end the day with, all right? I'll see you back here in a few more hours for my final check-in. All right, I am back for my final check-in of the day. Um, I think it's only been a couple hours. Yeah, it's 6.37 and I'm cutting this one short because I think I've seen all that I need to see but before I wash everything off and call it a day, you guys now have to come back and share my thoughts, my final thoughts on both of these new products after wearing them all day long. So let me zoom you in so that you can get a good look around the face. All right, so we are going to start off with the right side of my face. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously the situation didn't get better. You can now clearly see what I was talking about during my midday check-in. It's all right here, just different patches. Like the foundation is clinging on to different areas of my face and it's completely gone uh, from other areas of my face. So that's what I've got going on right here. Have a very similar situation over here. This is what it looks like around the mouth. Really, really awful. I didn't even know that I had a dry spot right there. I had a blemish there a couple of days ago, um, but this primer sure reminded me of that blemish. <laughs> it, it did not let me forget. Um, so yeah, it's clinging onto there. Foundation is clinging on to all different areas of my nose. It continued to allow my foundation to just settle here and it just feels really sticky still, even though I did set it with a powder a little bit, especially right here. I know I set it with a powder right here. It, it just feels sticky, it feels tacky. Forehead, you know, oily per usual, no surprise there. Um, and yeah, the foundation did break up right there. It's just, it made the foundation look awful. As for the under eye area, I mean, need I say more? I, I don't think I can, I don't think I do. It looks really dry. It's moved around. It did not stay in place. I cannot wait to wash my face. 
So it was over two for me today. I did not like either one of these products. As you guys saw, the cream or the concealer, whatever they want to call it, it's just not a good idea for the under eye area. Perhaps this would be great if you have like a little blemish or something, you know, small, minute that you need to completely conceal throughout the day on the face. Um, but even that I question because this really did not last. It started to move around really quickly. Both sides started to move around, even though I did set it, even though I thought it was going to stay locked in or it was supposed to based on the details. Um, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't stay whatsoever. I, I'm kind of disappointed. I'm, I'm actually really disappointed because I love two of Catrice's other concealers, their camouflage concealer, their liquid camouflage concealer, and their weightless, um, drop one drop concealer. They're great. Great. I recommend those all day long, o unless you have sensitivity to scents, then definitely ignore the camouflage one and just stick with the one drop concealer because the other one has a really, it's, it's heavily fragrance unless the, unless they've changed that since I last purchased it. But, um, yeah, it's a little too much, a little too much for the nose, but the one drop concealer is amazing. I love that one. I've loved that one ever since I reviewed it, which was like early last year. So I had really high hopes for this one and it just completely disappointed me. So no on this camouflage cream, the putty primer. I mean, you guys saw it. It just made my foundation look so so bad. I just don't remember the last time that I wore a foundation that looked this bad. And I know that that foundation does not do this. Okay. Because I've worn that without a primer with other primers and it looks great. I actually really like that true skin foundation, but with the primer, it just mm -mm, not a match made in heaven. Not at all. It's settled. It's separated. The foundation was clinging onto areas that I never see foundation clinging onto and it definitely called me out as far as like my dryness so if you have any kind of dryness going on this primer is going to make that very noticeable uh and very visible it wasn't a good makeup day for me and i like i said i can't wait to wash this off so that completes today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed today's product review and that you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future videos. And also don't forget to follow me over on Instagram where I absolutely love to hang out with you guys. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye.